Thanks indeed, guys. Now, last year, American football took over the Aviva Stadium for the Emerald Classic, Notre Dame versus Navy, uh, which attracted a crowd of almost 50,000 people. We're delighted this morning to welcome George O'Leary, the head coach from the University of Central Florida, UCF, and Dave Joyner, Penn State's director of athletics, to tell us about the return to Ireland next year. Very welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much for, for dropping in to see us this morning. I think a lot of people would have seen you at Croke Park yesterday, uh, <laughs> in, enjoying the Dublin game and the minor match before, of course. Um, this is a big, big, big deal. And for people in this country who don't get how successful uh, college football is. Maybe one of you would explain why and how. Who wants to take the, well, the tricky one? Well, college football's big business yeah. over there. It, it's a revenue sport. It's a sport that supports all the other sports, Dave. And I think it's something that, you know, it's tremendous attendance at the games, tremendous fan support, and great enthusiasm towards the sport. And uh, it's no question the uh, number one college sport in and, the and States. Wh while it's not a professional sport in that the participants don't get paid, it's professional in every other aspect in that you've proper stadium, mm. brilliant equipment, and some of the best players in, in the game who will go on to senior careers. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's definitely a big production. There's a lot that goes into game day operations and making the game day experience uh, you know, really terrific for the fans. You'll see people spend an entire weekend, thousands of dollars, just to come and be able yeah. to be part of the, the extravaganza, if you will. Now, when we say coaches, we think of a guy who's got maybe 20 or 30 people and he's running them and making sure they're okay and they're fit, but <laughs> that's not the job spec at all. Not at all. You have a big staff, and you're limited by NCA rules how many you can have on staff, yeah. but there's a lot of support people that are a big success rate as far as why your teams are successful off the field and on the field. From uh, academics to facilities to a lot of different areas. Yeah, you yeah. e e would be two of the top competing colleges without a shadow of a doubt. So well, we're delighted you're coming to Croke Park. Well, definitely Penn State is, and yeah. we're growing. You're school. growing very, yeah. you're growing very well. Right. Though, I mean, you, you brought a wealth of experience to, to Florida, right. and things are looking, things are looking reasonably up there. See what he's at here now. You get this, psyching you out already. And we're he's trying. Outside. I mean, he's not going to work. <laughs> we already know. Let me tell you, we have, we have, we have maybe a, a longer history and uh, you know maybe some longer past yeah. successes. But uh, you know what Coach O'Leary's done uh, and UCF has done uh, yeah. is tremendous. They have a great football program, and we'll. Uh, We'll be lucky to be able to keep up with them. <laughs> yeah, we're going right back at them, you know. It's getting a little thick in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it's all about. This is, as I was saying to you earlier, this is the fun part of the trip. Next year when you come, it'll be the serious part of the trip. You bring quite a few supporters between you. Last year, I think, 49,000 venue, I think 35,000 visitors, which is a wonderful thing for our economy. Yeah, I think there'll be a number of people coming stateside over, and uh, that time of year before Labor Day, and it's... Uh, They'll, they'll probably partake in vacation time, and especially yeah. with the great golf over here. Oh, yeah. Well, enjoy, yeah. enjoy. How do you manage, sort of, you've got a player who is an undoubted talent, but on the academic side, he's maybe not doing too well. How do you chide or steer him? Because effectively, you need him on your team, and if he's not doing well in studies, it's not good for him and his development. Well, we have a lot of, and, and all the schools do, we have a lot of academic support, and we call it academic support centers, and there are very strict rules in the NC2A about how you have to be making proper academic progression or you can't play. Yeah. So you have to be very careful, number one, about the type of students you take, can they do the workload, and then some uh, that maybe are borderline and need extra help, but there's a lot invested into making sure they graduate. Tell us a little bit about game day itself over there. I mean, a lot of games televised, huge crowds turn up. I would, at our level, almost every game is televised on some station back there, and tailgating's a big part of the game. Now, they come in two or three days ahead of time and set up their campers and everything else and really enjoy the day, but it, it's a great gathering. A lot of people come back, alumni come back, uh, a lot of them come back to get-togethers with different groups that they've used to be with in college, but it, it's a great, it's, it's a three hours of yeah. great enjoyment, and uh, then whatever's taking place before and after, it's another whole good time. It <laughs> <laughs> sounds like fun, which I was going to college over yeah. there. Oh, it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you should try it. Come on over there. <laughs> get me in shape, shape of my life. How difficult is it to combine the two for students? You know, because these, these are top-level athletes. They're not just, you know, students. They, they, a lot of them will have a future, whether it's coaching, whether it's playing. How hard is it to combine? Yeah, how hard is it? Yeah. It, it actually, I believe that it actually is, a, is an advantage. To One aids the other. Yeah, to, because, it, uh, you know, 
the, the Greeks and uh, you know yeah. understood uh, you know the That's total person yeah. the total person I think it makes them a better athlete uh, if they have to pay attention yeah. to the detail of their studies and and so it's a lot of work for them and they have to make a big commitment but it uh, but I think it enhances it yeah it preceded like, you guys were there long before the professional era at dawn and sort of I think Vince Lombardi grew out of one of the right. big colleges didn't he then of the Green Bay Packers um, in terms of that then when, when players are, are getting to the stage whereby they're getting ready to be drafted maybe to go off to senior levels uh, how do you keep a guy level? Well, I, I think that's why you recruit. You got to have competition behind the position so that he's looking over his shoulder a little bit. But I think it's time. But of all the kids that play college football, we were discussing it earlier. You know, less than one percent have a chance to make it to like the we, NFL. Yeah, yeah. So the key thing is get your degree. And you know, the biggest problem with these young kids is time management. You got to get them basically understanding and that's where Dave's 100 percent right then as far as football and athletics helps them be yeah. better students I think and you see we get to see this happy smiley side of you guys yeah it's the players who get to see yeah. you don't see, see that it. often <laughs> right. so it's, it's it's next summer in August you're coming to to to, to Dublin uh, play at Croke Park uh, it's a full-on game this isn't any sort of a friendly match this, 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 this is a conference this is non-conference stake. game right okay who's gonna win it uh, the team that scores the most points. I let him my chin. Yeah. I, like, I like that answer. <laughs> oh my God. Listen, enjoy the remainder of your stay. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we'll see you in the not too distant future. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you very much. Yeah.